Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to send an encrypted email through Tutanota. In the previous Tutanota video on this channel, I showed you how to create a Tutanota email address. And upon creation of that email address, we received a notification telling us that we had to wait 48 hours before we could send and receive any emails through Tutanota. That 48 hour wait time has finally elapsed and now we can begin sending an encrypted email. To create your first encrypted email, you wanna go over to the left hand side here and click new email. Once you're here, you wanna enter the email address of the recipient. I'm going to enter another one of my email addresses from another email hosting provider. I will be entering my ProtonMail email address. So there's going to be websplaining at protonmail.com. Now, if your recipient is a Tutanota email address, you will not need to encrypt the email on the recipient's end, as Tutanota provides end-to-end -end encryption. However, if the recipient that you're sending to is using Gmail or Outlook or Yahoo, for example, then you'll need to add a confidential password to encrypt the email on the other end. If I press enter here now, it should bring up a password to make the email confidential and encrypted. And there you go, it's asking for a password for websplaining at protonmail.com. So just pick a password and enter it. Once you've entered a password, be sure to save this password as the recipient will need this password to open the email. And now you can finish composing your email. Add a subject. So in the subject, I'm just going to enter test email. And now for the main body of the email, I'm just going to put, hi YouTube, this is a test email, full stop. And now all you need to do is send your email. Click send. And now your message is being encrypted and sent. And now let's check our sent folder just to see if the email has been sent. Now all you need to do is share the password to the recipient. One method to give the password is to give it in person to that person, or you can go on a messaging app that has encryption, such as Signal, for example, which is one of my favorite applications, or you can also use Telegram. There also are numerous other encrypted applications that you can use to protect your encrypted email password. Once your recipient has got his or her password, all they need to do is go to their inbox. So I'm going to open up another tab here. Actually, I already have it open and it's my Proton email email address. And as you can see, we have a new email in our inbox. Let me just left click on it here. And the email reads as follow. As you can see, it's not the actual email that we send, but a message from Tutanota itself. And it says, hello, you have just received a confidential email via Tutanota. Tutanota encrypts emails automatically end to end, including all attachments. You can reach your encrypted mailbox and also reply with an encrypted email with the following link. So all we need to do to view this encrypted email that we've just received is to click show encrypted email. If you're on ProtonMail, you'll have a notification for link confirmation. Click continue. And another window should open here that asks you to enter the password that the sender has given to you. So in my case, I'm the sender and the recipient, so I know the password already. So you're just gonna enter the password here and then go show encrypted mailbox. You'll be logged in into an encrypted Tutanota mailbox, even though you don't actually own a Tutanota account as the recipient. Left click on your new email to view it. And there we go, guys. It says test email as the subject line, and it says, hi, YouTube. This is a test email securely sent with Tutanota. Get your own encrypted ad-free mailbox and then the tutanota.com website. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to send an encrypted email through Tutanota. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to live?